and we're live. We're no, we're pre, we're on the pre-start. Excuse me, three minutes to get rid of these last pieces. What I'm working on is almost awake. Okay. Hello, and you're going to be watching now later on on YouTube. Helen here, along with. Fuck you, here! And uh, yeah, I forgot to mute the both of us there, so we all got a bit of an uh, inkling of what I've been up to. Uh, and I'll. I might as well show it. And of course, as usual, Indrik here won't be able to see this because he's not getting my webcam. Yeah. This, if I recall correctly, it's called the Minado. It's the. It's the ship from the Guardians of the Galaxy, from the MCU. And it looks complete, but I still have... two bags to go. Wait, what was the ship called? I think the Minado, but I might be getting that... I might be remembering that wrong, but I don't think they actually ever named it in the MCU. Yeah, or if they did like... it only once. I feel like I heard it name somewhere else. Good chance, I think. Uh, anyways, yeah, Thursday I was supposed to stream, but I missed. I miscalculated that time because, well, I was out at, for dinner uh, because it was my birthday. So yeah, that that one, the, the, the Lego ship there is actually a, a, a self gift, uh, or no, it, sort of. Uh, I ordered it, but uh, yeah, parents uh, transferred over the cash for it, to put it simply like that. Uh, I also, I bought myself this one, which is a Darth Vader bust in Lego. <laughs> yes, I'll, I'll send you pictures after the stream. 
remember that. We always send the picture about that in, in, on our channel. Yeah, but that was just the boxes. <laughs> and, uh, yeah. Lego Luigi. Anyways, oh. because I missed Thursday, I'll be, uh, I'll be doing a bit of a, a schedule trains to make up for that. Uh, today we're doing continuing with Iconoclast, obviously. Tomorrow, something Sunday. And then Monday, I'll also be streaming this game to make up for missing Thursday. And on Tuesday, uh, more Iconoclast. Uh, I think by that, um, we might finish this by Monday if I'm getting a good feel of it. How it might be going, but it could be that next month, next. Uh, I think I get the feeling we'll finish this game in the next week. Yeah, build again. Let's be honest here. This game is truly surprises. Yeah. And also a note yes, I did notice in the previous recording that at the end when I did. That it forgot that it didn't unmute my mic. So yeah, during the last five minutes or so of that recording, I was well muted. It might have been longer. Was I also muted? Uh, no, you weren't. So uh, <laughs> everyone listening could hear a one-sided conversation going. <laughs> but yeah, let's continue on. Finally, like five minutes into this. <laughs> yep. Yeah, now I remember why I haven't heard the name Minardo. This was Xenoblade Chronicles. Oh, the Minardo. Uh, I, yeah, I might be actually. I think they were right on that. That's the name of the blade, I think. So. Yeah. I might. I know this, it because. Hmm. I'm having it right here. <laughs> Okay. In my hand. Like the game? Yep, I bought this. This was my first physical copy for my Nintendo Switch. Okay, I've I've tried to watch Sugar Conroy play the first one, but I just got lost at like episode seven, and he just he's been playing through the second one, and he's already at like episode one fifty or something. I've. Anyways, last time we were in the uh, the indoctrination tower, I think I'll call it. Um, we rescued Samba, but Elro got caught and got his fucking arm torn off by Black. Which makes me think that it's a lot more likely that the intro screen is showing the major players instead of just uh, party members. Yeah, do the low screen might think that Black might be a uh, party member, but... Nope. Again. It's a game full of surprises, and they, yeah, they still have to put a few surprises on us. Yeah. Okay. And the latest surprise is that this entire place is filled in freaking darkness. So... Don't they have anything to light that way? Mm, actually... Well, that... I should have thought of that earlier. <laughs> Okay. That, 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 that is obvious now. Okay. I see what we need to do. Charge up. And then... Hmm. It doesn't... It doesn't hold enough of a charge. Or no, it actually passes by too fast. To do much there. Let's see then. Yep. Oh, come on. Now, this, this is this is also just a, a plain clever thing that it is a mechanic that they've already in introduced a long ass time ago, but they're still adding another function to it. Yeah. And, oh. That might be one of the reasons why they encourage you to upgrade its uh, duration. Yeah. Or... Okay, just to be certain, I, save. I actually Let's... thought to wonder if we'd be underestimating the upgrades. Might be, yeah. Uh, we have. 
We don't have any of those charged ones, though. So let's keep the speed one. Though we are completely <laughs> out. Let's see, is there anything up here? Even though we fell down this way? Yep, we're gonna need to find the green guys again. Yeah. Right, I get, I get those. Okay. Oh, wait, th this is where we fell down. Okay, yeah, now I remember. <laughs> we managed to uh, stumble our way down towards here. But that does mean that there is nothing new for us to find yet to help with this. Did I see something? No, I didn't. Hmm. And how, how are we going to get past that gate? I kind of wonder, how the hell did we get off all this without the right? Uh, a lot of pain. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let's see, there is, is there really nothing else here? No, it is just that. Hmm. We can't climb in here. And yeah, that's just way too, way too short a time. Wait, grenade? Actually, the candy of yeah, the just open. a normal grenade. <laughs> okay, yeah, I was, I was sort of overthinking there. <laughs> uh, hello, skeleton. Bill. And, oh, we have a, a tweak table. Just um. what we needed. Let's... Let's make that. And we can replace it. Uh, we can replace the speed one for that. No need to yet. Actually, just for sure, to be sure. Let's see. Uh, is that some sort of skull bath? Okay. The hell did we end up? What the heck is that? Whatever it is, it's out of complete sight. You. Dark. Okay, that's that's probably going to be something like being able to see better in the dark or something. Hmm. Uh, yeah, like I, like you said, I completely underestimated this game when we started it. Hmm. Same here. Well, I, I noticed there was some something special about it, but even then. I was overestimating it, or underestimated it, my brother. I'm not seeing anything different here. Hmm. And we have, we have one. Well, even when we don't have one of everything, it it still shows up. So, what did we pick up then? Or was that the map? Hmm. Mind be... Either way, let's just go explore. Oh, not that way. Okay, I might need to change something out to give Robin a bit more air. What the hell is with this place? It, it's, an, it's obviously some sort of abandoned cell... Abandoned facility. Oh, oh, come on, I... I can crawl by holding the left trigger. Or the right, uh, bumper. <laughs> Actually... No, that, that... At one point I managed to stand still and shoot up at an angle, but I... That, I completely pulled that off by mistake, by accident. So I have no idea how I would be able to replicate that. Hmm. 
Oh. That isn't going to stay charged forever. Yeah, that is going down real quick. Okay, yeah, this is someone's nightmare fuel. <laughs> Or probably a lot of people's nightmare fuel, just not being able to see in the dark underwater. Yeah, I think it would be a nightmare situation for me. Well, it's a nightmare situation for me as well because, yeah, uh, yeah, I, I'm not, I'm not afraid of water itself specifically. It's more of like the the unknown lurking within. Yeah, so the deeper and darker it is, the worse it gets. Oh, okay, that's nice. That also holds... That's another way to charge those things, and that one is going to stay charged. And that big ball... Hmm. A bit higher. Uh -oh. Let's see, we should be able to charge that... Okay, that hits, at least. There. Okay, I had not noticed it doing that before. There we go. Uh, hello. Okay, what is with the eyeballs? And with them infecting creatures. Uh, yeah, I guess we're, I guess we're sort of stumbling into uh, the horror element of this game. <laughs> and yeah, Robin just doesn't care. She just, na she's just happy to find a new little thing to play with. Yeah, this game is definitely entering a bit of uh, Lovecraftian territory. Yeah, with the freaking space worm. Also, so far, these all of these statues have been icons of worse, but actually, icon of prayer, it says. So, who is this? Who is that guy? Wait, 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 wait. That, that, good one to start. I think I'm, I know who that is. Hmm? Yeah, I just need to... Sean Connery? <laughs> I don't think so. <laughs> okay, sunlight stuns these things and makes them vulnerable. So yeah, they, we are getting Lovecraftian. <laughs> like, uh, strengthened by the dark, fear, uh, weakened by the light. I don't think many... Oh, all right. We'll need specialized equipment if we are to continue the type of research we're doing. These abstract cubes uh, want to integrate into everything, especially our computer hardware. Between the discovery of these cubes and the controller development, we are also severely understaffed. The eyes are hard to contain. It already feels increasingly dodgy for us to do these things. We don't need more frustrations. This, is al this almost unfathomable technology resists us, I swear. I'm not confident he would want us to do this. Hmm. I have a suspicion that that might not be talking about the same he as before. And just look above Robin here. The source? I... Wait. That we found the source of those freaking things, which also explains why they are able to possess technology. They remade them to possess machines when they're supposed to do that with organics. Uh -oh. Yeah, crap. And just in case we missed it before, there's another one. Uh, mind if I just hide here and... Yep, ow. And <laughs> it's just beaten by a thorn bush. <laughs> no, the heck. Yeah, if the if the one concern are messing around with Eldritch stuff for their machinery, then uh, 
It's no surprise that things are sort of going to hell. Yeah. Sam, where the hell did you put the folder for the year 457? Uh, After you reinstalled the OS on this machine, there's like five hard drive pads. I'll be sitting here forever looking for it. Yeah, uh, someone having issues with uh, Windows Vista? Let's see. That's a bomb path. Okay, but that needs to be moved up. Is there something hidden in here? Oh, there's a path up. Bomb there. And there we go. No. And done. Now we have this place up. Oh, hello there, Flathead. Who the hell are you? Uh, uh oh. That. Out. Okay. Uh, I think Flathead is going to turn into Flat Eye. Yep. Okay, that doesn't work. But I can. I can still bounce off of them. <laughs> For a moment, I thought he was to be our allies when he, you know, yelled at us at the last episode, but, yeah, no. Not even he is on screen. Yeah, like, who the hell is that? Oh, oh, hello there. Uh, the hell is it possessing? Yeah, we've seen oh. those before, but you knew what they are. Thank you for that. Uh, oh, hello. Oh. Similar to the others, they are vulnerable to light as well. Okay, now that this pad is open. Oh. We can head back here. Okay, that's good design. Just a shortcut back to the safe station. What is up here then? Why is there a swing bolt there? Oh, wait, 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 wait. I almost missed this. Yeah. The specimen became uh, the specimen become uncontrollable if separated from their frames. I'm sure research on them can lead to uh, useful inventions, but they're borderline terrifying. Once they're out of their frame, they will look for whatever else, living or not, they can attach to. Except us, so far. So far. Very obviously, I don't think they uh, stuck to that little pickiness. And also, what does it mean with frames? <laughs> okay, this is just funny. Blah, 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 blah. Oh, hell, uh, of course the one. Yeah, we already. Who the he um? Hello. This is so going to be a boss fight. That. Okay, yeah. The moment, the moment we return there, that's going to be a fight. Because I'm pretty sure we just shown a big ass spotlight on their head. Or not. Okay, that changed fast. Okay. okay. <laughs> Uh, the, 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 oh, uh, that's new. The big one is immune. 
Okay, Napster. Oh. Uh, is that his, his freaking rain or something? Oh, okay, I see. We need we need to weaken the puppets, which uh, makes the big one vulnerable. It's, it's just getting dragged along like a freaking dog on a leash. Or a pain. I think. Okay, there are another one of those. Uh, Hero. Okay. <laughs> I did not expect him to reflect that back at me. So we got a sort of puppet cannon situation to ping on. Like, in li literally, they are being puppeteered. And, well, the, the whole volleyball thing. And does this help any? Don't know if it does, but still better to try. That was less damage than my thought. And last time, I think. Uh, there we go. <laughs> okay, the, we killed off. Or, oh, light this place up. Wait, is that is that thing partially mechanized? Yeah, I'm seeing metal in there. Okay, come on, last one. Like, what, what sort of cyberpunk Cthulhu bullshit has the concern been up to here? Well, I think it's who could control of the machine. And him. And... Uh, are they just dead? Oh, no, they're not. Okay, who the hell are you? Well, besides, you know, he, he's called a sil Silver Watchman. And then he they carries out cost punishment, but that's it. Yeah, you've been looking up the wiki or something? No, no. You read it the last time. Uh, I must have missed that or forgotten that. We both... Well, forgotten is the most likely there. Well, it is that... a penis evil watchman. Yeah, they're, they're obviously an agent of the concern, and hello there. Someone's still here. Oh, besides them, of course. Uh... You give up? Never mind. Uh, mm. Boy, all you fucking pain in the ass. <laughs> I have proven our leads ever exploded one of my contemporaries. Oh, you motherfucker. His implants do not work in water. He shall no longer be a nuisance to you, mechanic. I completely missed his first line of anything, but I hope at the very least that he was going for, like, uh, you saved my ass, uh, I owe you my life, uh, let me work with you, but... Uh, yeah, apparently <laughs> uh, Royal, you fucking pain in the ass. Once again, I must apologize for the insubordination of my sword board and it's, you do not know their place. I'm done with them. Well, I'm glad you were alive. Um... I see in you the rounded flower I cannot summon. You are what has eluded me my whole life. A freedom that is not created, but natural. One of birth, no obligations, your life is rich. I notice you admiring flowers as I am one to do. Uh, we share interest there. The two of us can be equal. You will want to teach me your ways, of course, and I will welcome your ideas. 
Take me with you, and we will be able to escape this dark place together. Okay. I'm sp wonderful, wonderful. And the music is slowing down again. Let's go then. I'll get you somewhere safe. Yes. That camera is working. It, it could be that we just activated it by turning everything on, but... I get... Oh, and we're out. And we're getting blown aside. Well, uh, we missed a little bit, but so yeah, people were able to read it. Yeah. I hope. Uh, but, uh, one. Yeah, I, I'm. <laughs> they I was thinking that he was going to turn. They just subverted uh, the expectations. Like we were both expecting to get to learn about that guy. Uh, who he was or something, but uh, nope. <laughs> Instead, they just throw a wen wrench in it. Uh, and we'll probably never know now. Uh, okay, they are very good at doing that trick. Uh, what do you call it again? Subverting. Subverting. I think you're very good with that in this game. Yeah. Okay, uh, let's throw that down, get on it. And then we do this. And get. Okay. <laughs> but yeah, I like, again, I, we completely underestimated this game. And uh, hello, how the hell did you get here? <laughs> okay, I see what we need to do. Charge the box. <laughs> and that's the way to get back over. Uh, how the hell did that ship end up here? And, oh, hello there. Haven't we met before? As in a. Yeah. Uh, ooh, this cold mountain inspires my culinary happy senses. Hey, I heard a scientist at one concern HQ doused evil thoughts through distractions. Uh, Perhaps with some super nice ice cream, I could do the same to people. I do not want to know what you'd put in ice cream. I already have the worst ingredients for ice cream in another game, so I don't doubt you do it can do worse. Okay, it seems that we're heading back into this. Do not enter or release door. These facilities have been closed down indefinitely due to high risk of fatality upon entering. Pardon? As always, back from dinner. Fast passing will result in penance, regardless of City 1 residence. Bastion Department. I, st I still want to know what exactly they mean with penance. Just bad things? I think this is going to punish. Yeah. Oh, okay, we need the rockets to deal with that. So what the hell have they all been up to in here? Oh, you we need to just dodge. Some... No? Or we just tank... Oh, there's... There's a gap in the middle there. We could have hidden in. Yeah. It, it isn't just that this place is just abandoned, but there's skeletons every freaking where. So they were just eradicated. Code Red Protocol. Destroy any records of operation and assembly and demolish and re or remove all parts of the equipment required for basic function. If this is the will of him, containment may occur immediately. Upon such an event, Father thanks you for your services and will personally pray for you. Okay, so we are have we have a new character. Oh. Father. Barbarians. This this is the most horrible tragedy I've ever, ever witnessed. This vessel of divinity, the portal between spirits and humans. Cannot vandalize these. May he, the Star Worm himself, burn whoever did this. I don't think... 
Yeah, I, I think we're talking about two he's now. He the star worm and he the father. Hmm. Robin, your mind is probably unable to comprehend the calamity before you. This is a transcend transcender. They are the most beautiful and divine objects granted to us. This is a divine room. Destroying womb one destroying one of these is like murdering a parent. Only the lucky young in this world pass the trials and earn the blessing of resting inside. So it's a stasis pond? It is a bath in the purest ivory lasting many months, but only for the one strong enough. No. Is, is this how agents are made? If you are not strong enough, the ivory consumes your body and you will perish, but your soul transcends to the afterlife to be the elite among spirits. The ones that remain in the physical realm are destined to further the divine doctrine and right the wrongs in the world. And this is how it must be make agents. Sometimes the next true leader of humans. The medium which speaks for the humans to him, the Almighty, is chosen. Okay, the hair turns white. Like with black. These are extraordinary people that become one with ivory completely, earning the power to even control the planet itself. I am that. I am to lead all of humanity after the dark day where Mother leaves the physical world and my power has developed fully. But there's another outcome. Oh, that is how the agents become. Some people fuse with the ivory but aren't chosen for equal purpose, as they do not flawlessly fuse. They are the divine guardians protecting the faith of big people, for they prove strong and almost as impenetrable as mother or myself. He, the Almighty, blesses these guardians too by letting the ivory strip away only the parts that are meant for greater things, and he leaves the person with us. Oh, uh, uh, why the arms? They are warriors, the upholders of law and order. Their ivory blood embraces our divine technology, technology which he gave us, which a normal body would reject. Ag why the arms? With the blessing of that power, they will protect the people from detractors. And their divinity will be celebrated for many days as they will live for hundreds of years, like their mothers and fathers. That guy is very excited. This is, <laughs> it is a wonderful gift given only to a chosen few. Nope. <laughs> bye bye, flashback. These halls are those of magic and wonder, Robin. Isn't this beautiful? Mm, I would not call all of these uh, beautiful with all of the bones and such. You just can't comprehend it all. It's all right. I hope these bones are of those that destroyed this transcender. Hmm. There, there is ivory leaking out of this thing. So yeah, that that is how the mothers and fathers are created. Maybe. And the agents and uh, yeah, the unlucky few are just uh, sent to heaven. Or at least that's what they say. <laughs> I'm getting the feeling that are these creatures the result of them screwing around with ivory in here? Let's see, one of those you things is going to be here. Well, this will be the kind of room. Yeah, we'll, we'll come back there. I think we did. Uh, we can always double check. But yeah, we're going to need to lure one of those things around here. And there he is. The hell is it possessing? Hello there. Yo. You remember those things called uh, the helmet? And weren't those purple, those suits? Well. They have a try on them at the moment, though. 
No, those were, were smaller as well, I'm pretty sure. Oh, they, no. Those were wider. Yeah. <laughs> okay, this thing is kicking our asses like this. Yeah, most main team method has not been wide like a monster, but those. The thing that it is is protecting might have been closest all the stinking being we may make. Okay, and gone. Uh, yeah, we we need that health, but we don't need it enough to risk getting <laughs> killed ourselves. Let's see. Uh, yeah, that's the protocol red. Hmm. Oh, uh, hello there. Mountain scares me. Where's Pola? Uh, first off, uh, how the hell did you get in here? Second off, how are you alive? Well, I guess we found the answer. There are different entrance. Okay. I'm guessing we have to climb up further on the mountain. We're getting, we're getting a lot of truths now, I think, or at least what they call truths. Uh, we'll see what is real and what is not. And, okay, we're back to mother statues. Can't find Fawn. Captain's so angry. I, I'm getting the idea that the leadership of... Yeah, the leadership of the church probably switches between mothers and fathers, and whenever someone comes out of the transcender uh, with white hair, they become the next in line. So it's not bio biologically de decided. It's the biggest rock that's in the way. Put this down here, or do we? Hmm. Um. Did I get my? Okay, we didn't get ourselves stuck. Hmm. Hmm. Let's see. If we charge this one, that opens up. But that. Okay, all of them move. And if I charge this, that one moves. But it doesn't... Hmm. Actually... Oh, I see already. And uh, yeah, luckily enough, we, do, we don't get crushed. Okay, grab you. No, we need to go... Okay. There we go. And it's it uncharged, okay. We took too long that. Basically what I'm going at is I'll charge up the block. Uh, can I do that from here? Yes we can. Then we charge this and there we go. More of these things. Ow. They look a bit like lasers. Yeah, laser squeaks. Oh, hello, Captain. Old man, what are you doing down here? If my eyes do not deceive me, you are that infamous Isa boat, Captain. Your EC boat, Captain Myra. I don't have time to spare. But urge you to trot away like the truly lopsided steed that you are, white one. Okay, I don't get that insult. How dare you, sir? You are hereby arrested on account of being wanted at the highest level, on the orders of our mother. Our mother has children to mind, not laws. You are being disrespectful. I've come here to face my true bidden noir, noir, 
boy, that which obstructs my born. Whatever the hell a born is, and <laughs> royal free. Uh, the royal is having a royal headache. I spotted a monstrous being dwelling below these spines. I cannot fathom what purpose such a thing would serve. But while I wanted to try to stop this prankster, that which ruins my charted lands, there is thrust from the uh, thrust, thrust from the waters near the mountain base, and then settled here. Wait, so you were thrown here by a sea monster or something? There's nothing like that in this world, you fool. I pity you coming here when you did, as there is no safe way downward or upwards this mountain since the monster still had his way. You were going to say? I was say there are pretty plenty of things that can do that. <laughs> Point me to the location of. One. Point me to the location of this monster. I, w I would have the powers needed to destroy whatever this creature actually is. The magician is fooled by his own tricks, it seems. They're not tricks. Go ahead, ten boy of white. If you fail, I will be rid of you. The key pill for error behind you as well. You can probably guess where this other key leads. As you both perish, you will likely bear witness to the negligible nature of your lives on this planet. It's a planet without permanence. There is no place for monuments or history like those tall tales in the precede precedence. You believe that and you were making a map of the planet? Then who is the fool? I probably will show you the strength of this fate. Does that include executing me later on then? It is a ritual, not execution. Hmm. Well, if it's a ritual of execution, it's still an execution. Oh, so we're having these gold teeth again. I, th I think that's just how I'll call them. Okay, I, I'm guessing we're coming to the main core of whatever this place is. Oh, oh, uh, hello. What are you doing here? He would land on his head. Especially you, sir. I should ask that of you, soldier. I, I was ordered to go down here and get some controllers. I drew the short straw out of my skull. Okay, so they're called controllers. And this is where the run concerned foreman decided to, uh, to carelessly stack their invaluable creations. No respect for the divine from anyone. These truly are the end times. And he's he's trying to for <laughs> he's trying to force choke someone somewhere. <laughs> I think these are really old, sir. The factories don't have resources to make more these days. Wait. This area was meant to be locked down. I meant to believe all of these were sealed away ages ago. Why would anyone inform me of anything anymore? Because you're as high up as you are, you are still number two to someone else at the very least. Sir, are you aware the concern really wants to speak to you? A while ago, I managed to receive my first message in ages, and it was a message to everyone. Something about recording you doing something in the lower caves. Well, it is not the first time recently that one concerned people seem to forget who I am. It's not in their uh, place to judge how fate guides my decisions. But never mind that, soldier. Have you been here long? Another person suggested we are trapped on the mountainside. When I left HQ, there was a huge earthquake or something. It knocked out most cameras on the mountain and it shut me out from the road back to HQ. His new radio still worked at best distance, and they just told me to go down here as they tried to fix it. I've been here for more than a while. With this many eyes, it's very difficult to back one out. I think he means sleep or something. <laughs> so, yeah. uh, how long have you been awake for? 
Should that old fool was right? Some culprit caused a severe earthquake here. There's a culprit down here. What is this big spear object with a strange panel of buttons, soldier? I'm not so informed that there's anything in here. Oh, this is very close to the shape of the white tri. But it is not an icon to be put anywhere but a holy place. No matter, I will destroy it. The representation of the white tri in a place like this cannot remain. Uh, He's going to wake something up. No, there are some symbols on here. I don't know what they imply, however. Maybe it was letters that wore off? Or the tragic monument? Well, let's get to it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, uh, hello. Uh, at least we're on an elevator. Out of here? <laughs> what is this? It, oh, it's a big ass fucking controller. Emergency. Oh, look, it just stuck. It, it's. Oh, uh, thank you, soldier. It's a control. Damn it, I'll try to force the elevator up, even if I've exhausted something. It's a controller that's being controlled. Sorry. For someone with that much power, we don't have much endurance, do you? Uh, do I... Finally moving. Quick. We don't have much, if any, room to maneuver here. And I should get out from... Uh, Oh, crap. How, how fast does this stuff grow if it's already blocked off? Oh no, it's not blocked off, it's just... Ow. What? 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 Huh? Oh, come on, that came out of nowhere. What is going on? Good, very, very good question. Okay. Oh, all the way back here. And no, we did not fall on top of him. Uh, yeah, my guess is that they tried to make a master controller, but the master controller got controlled by the very thing they were trying to control. What do you Oh, I could do that. That's the biggest thing that. Where did the soldier go? He, him using grenades is meant to clue us in that we can force it down. Where the hell did he go? Did he manage to blow himself up? He does not like the grenades. Okay, if we, if we fail this again, we'll at least see where the hell he went. Okay. Seriously, the hell is this thing doing? Is it shifting matter itself? Okay, down you go. And down you stay. Ow. Down. Mm. 
Okay, we got to keep that thing down. So we at least have the opportunity to keep moving here. And get out. But that thing is coming out as well. <laughs> Robin just looking unamused. The hell is with this demon Beyblade? <laughs> uh, wait, the golden teeth are exploding? Ow. It's, yeah, they're going off on time. Yeah, I, I was thinking it was rather easy to get past these things. Oh, those. I almost got hit there. Yep, got, I got hit by the laser instead. Uh, also, the hell is that one up there? Um. Okay. Uh, hello, I, I'll have my audience with you, Marauder. Uh, the devil of the... <laughs> should I? Uh, how the hell is your mic? You will not take my wrist. Do, do, how the hell did you get this thing down here? No, no my favorite here. <laughs> I'll like to such a perversion. <laughs> People. <laughs> okay. My map show remain true. Your penance has come. <laughs> um, can you do less uh, monologuing, Captain Ahab? And more shooting? Ow, I walked into that one. Uh, yeah, I get the feeling we'll have to go through this uh, one more time at least. <laughs> because of just the other confusion that got me is hit so much. Uh, there. Anyway, couldn't we angle this before? Or diagonally? Ooh, it's speeding up. Also, why the hell does this music remind me of Pac-Man? I never played Pac-Man. Never in mode. I did not expect to beat it. Like we were one hit away. Robin's okay. <laughs> we'll dug in. I couldn't affect that beast either. Like the plants that easy water town. Wait, does that does that mean that his powers can't affect anything that isn't uh he, his powers can't affect anything that is natural, I'm thinking? Hmm. I feel ill. And Myron just casually digs himself free. The deed has been done. My nemesis has been vanquished. It can no longer reshape the land. And I may yet have my depiction of this planet be permanent. Unless there are more. There is likely more. But let us not think on uh, such negative thoughts. And again, how we will move my vessel back to the water. Be quiet, old man. <laughs> Let's not be upset. We knew about that machine. What was that thing? But I told you, it's a love machine that can decide the shape of the shape of the surface of the planet. I would think it's some sort of slave module to perhaps some a core intelligence. I've only observed its presence around these parts in the last few years. Shut up. 
Why would he have created such a large disruptor? Why wouldn't I know about this? Be calm now, boy. You will feel more at ease once you stop looking for a reason. Imagine a planet as a machine. Which I get the feeling it is... Uh, it is. Sorry? I have seen much in my excursions. Sentience that is not part of anyone's scripture. Boy, let me explain things further. <laughs> he just plugs his ears. Uh, the son of a true leader. And here he was just willing to listen to Robin, but not to this jackass. Girl, I hold no grief since against you anymore. Make the most of your life. This planet must be a, on death's door. But my impressions... From, yeah? Go on. Go on. But my impressions, it probably will last for a while yet, but perhaps embrace what is uh, left in your life. I will find my underlings. I still have a map to finish. An insane man has finally left. We'll get rid of this monstrosity. <laughs> Team Rockets! Uh, not blasting off again, but the hell came out of that thing. Something flew away in, into the sky. Well, it's gone, along with that crazy old pirate. This regard is madness, and I will take you to safety. Uh, hmm? Hello. Yeah, I was to see you. I beg your pardon, my room. What have you ever done to him? Hmm. Yep. Yeah. One concern west? Ah, salvation. You like a bit of trust in me. I assure you there is no insubordination in here. They follow my every command. Uh. Yeah, we did sort of break into his boat, but besides that, not much. I'm their future father. This divine place is the primordial cradle for of his sentinels. It is the pla a place of divine beauty. Yeah, it's uh, stuck in the ass end of nowhere under five foot of snow. I should still enter ahead of you, however. I will round up my best man to escort you no, inside this time. Then I will make an agreement, uh, argument for your future safety, Robin. Perhaps for Elro, depending on sin. We shall be out of the cold in a minute. Ten hours later. Okay, he's not coming back out. Hmm. Oh, hello. It's a momentous day, the two of you must be ecstatic. We may have permanence, but you must find a way off the mountain. This boat is lost to me, so you shall empty it out and find another. I just need my tool. There must be a new path that cracked open in the flooded cave right near here. So cold. You shall warm up from cleaning the boat then. Okay, just the same. Hmm. The, the heck happened to the royal then? I just realized. I was doing more, but you got from the boat and brought it back in. Yeah. Hmm. Okay. Uh, let's take a look down here. Yeah, we yeah, we've already been here. And yeah, all of that is mapped out, so we have no need to go down there ever again. There is, however, something... Okay, that didn't work. Hmm. 
Ow. There we go. Peruvium. That took way too long for just one freaking statue. I do wonder what happened to Royal then. I, did he get arrested or something? Do what he did. Yes, I'm back. Okay, welcome back. We yeah. have a chest here with a lock, but I didn't see any key nearby. Oh. Uh, there's still some unexplored down here. Myron said that there's likely somewhere that broke open over here, so let's go look around for that. Things are dropping goo, so uh, let's not get that on top of us. Especially yeah, after we saw what that did to uh, well, a <laughs> flathead. Yeah. And where for what again? Myron said something that I actually started to theorize about uh, uh, early on the stream in my head. That is? Uh, this blue planet might actually be a machine. Yeah, I wouldn't be surprised anymore. I think, like, yeah, in earlier, in earlier streams, I was to bring this up by, yeah, what just so much going on. That he almost, I almost have a, the, the vibe of, um, uh, not Morrowind, uh, what the? Hmm. Uh, continue on. Please. I was to say one of the Magic Gathering uh, settings, uh, five suns or something. Okay. Basically, the entire planet mm. was made of metal. So, like a clockwork uh, coruscant or something. Uh, something like that, and it was powered by five different suns. By yeah, basically black sun, blue sun, red sun. You get the idea. You have one for each of those elements in that. Yep, and the golem creatures or artifact creatures will get stronger depending on how many different manas you use to create summon them. So the more manas you use to summon them that are different from each other, like all five, the stronger it gets. Okay, so that sounds like a very powerful but also very risky deck to build then. I, I should give mm -hmm. Magic the Gathering Online another shot sometime. It's it's a very complicated deck. I can't hear that much. Okay. Mm. Yep. Uh, hello. Uh, is that? Hmm. I think I know who that is. <laughs> Mina. Morning. It's me. <laughs> I can I can I can see why she's. <laughs> <laughs> wrapped up so so tightly. I felt I had to come look for you in case there was any hope you survived this fall. So so happy you're looking perfectly fine. You're just some kind of ninja. You're some kind of ninja. Aren't you cool though? Anyway, what's been going on? Uh, that's mad. The annoying captain is still around, I guess. Listen, I will not give up on returning your favor, uh, girl. I'll help you get your brother back, I promise. Gustavo, the traveling easy doctor, knows his stuff. We should find him. He treats anyone, and that probably means he learns a lot. He'll probably be hanging out near a settlement. He showed me this insane transport uh, system to, to the right of you, too. So let's use it. I'll be at your side now, Robin. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, okay. Uh, that is, the reason I was about to suggest it was me now, 
First of all, I recognize their legs. <laughs> okay. Even though uh, everyone I, has chicken legs in this. Yeah, I don't know that only few have chicken legs. Oh, 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 hello again, our little bouncy pad. Bye bye. <laughs> but yeah, when I saw the legs, I feel like I, I feel like I've seen those before. Wait, is that Mina? It is Mina. Well, I guess we know where uh, Verkir's attractions lay. It's actually not the uh, legs, so to disappoint you. Okay, let's see. Is he here? And I only now noticed that there's a chair on this thing. A big ass chair. And there's... Yeah. And there's a whole bunch of possessed controllers down there as well. Oh dear. So whatever is going on with those, it is global. Or it'll go global probably. Oh, yeah, good game. But yeah, I was like, it's not all her. Uh, guy. <laughs> okay, let's see. Okay. Wait. Yeah, we can go up here as well, past these purple dark slimes. I completely missed that second one there. Uh, yeah. Let's go find Gustavo then. And maybe we can get to other places as well now. Oh, hello there. Everyone's stupid. Or they're gone. There's nothing to do anymore. I want to punch things. Okay. Have, they been, have they been retaliating against our town or something? I should remember. We have to deliver someone a letter around here, I think. And, oh. Okay, oh. these quakes are getting global. Okay. And yeah, I think that might be, I think that might be what the heart is for. Again? Leave the settlement, Robin! Oh wow, that's pretty harsh. And now you bring that pirate back to my house. Ah, uh, yes, I'm here to sew your carpets with my shoes. <laughs> <laughs> the sink of pirates in here will have us killed, Robin. Hey! Stink is my exclusive aesthetic, thank you. I already got one of you pirates out of my house. I don't need this. I'm trying to gain favors and recruit people in exchange for help. Why the try? Who? A doctor? But a kind of stranger approaches a woman's house and asks to get a look at her. Trust me, he really wants to help. He probably heard you had problems. Now she definitely has, has trust issues. My health is none of his business. Well, as a doctor, it sort of is. Fine, where do you go? Somewhere west, just go. Okay, so this was to track him down. Closest All place right. with people now is the tower, right? The rest of the forest seems abandoned. I'm sure he'll be there. He's got to have some info we can use. Hmm. Do we still have a horde in this town? Uh, wait, still? Wait, I think I know who that is for. But not wait. Sweet. It's not for her, then. Even though wait, the heart is... Wait, hold on, hold on, hold on! Get up there! I see something! Uh, oh, never mind. I thought I saw a key behind the sofa. Yeah, nope. And what you see? It was just the windows uh, gleeping through. Hmm. Ah. Uh, yes, we. You have nothing too useful to us now. Can you end? But what is it going to be doing not being to, to, to yet? The community? Yep. Yeah, there's the church, but 
So I think we've gotten all of that out all of we can out of that. But, oh, you're back. You're back. Barton is so embarrassing. Perfectly fine in my damn home. I was just hoping some soldier could get me close to CD1. I'm really sick of worrying about the penance obliterating me. I left because I wanted to. I met a bastion soldier. I'd live in CD1. He said he wanted to get me some tickets, but I want City 1. I just went back home instead. Oh, so, so this is the one the soldier that was uh, asking Black about Gray's ticket was talking about. Okay. Sorry if I worried you about, you know, Tokoska, Robin. She's too naive about the dangers out there, I know. She needs to understand I simply care about her. And to make my worrying worse, we stopped getting alcohol supplies. I think she's a little less naive than you think, dude. Seeing as she was trying to... Hmm, what would be the words? Smooch herself uh, into uh, CD1. Yeah. Either way, though. Uh, let's see if, if we had a quick point... Wrong place. Just gonna grab a sandwich, so yeah, the usual. Don't die. <laughs> I'm not sure if we had a, a a shortcut directly to the tower itself, but we do have one to the electric forest. Desert, aquatic, electric forest. Yeah, all of those can. Where those? I'm not sure if those controllers were corrupted before. I think that'll be the better word, the other than possessed. Corrupted controllers. Let's see. How far is it? Shouldn't be... No, it's not too far. Oh, this is a nice little thing. The ghosts go don't get set off by the wrench. They just don't like gunfire. The hell... Oh, hello! The cadet! I heard that from the kitchen. What do you do? Some of the cadets are here. What the? What, what is this? It's so beautiful. And I can breathe? <laughs> yeah, they're, they're just realizing they've been lied to. Probably for their entire lives. Yeah. But go finish my sandwich. And yes, I, I heard you. Hello. I knew that was something special going on. Uh, grass and flowers, they feel so very nice. Look at these sparks in the air. Uh, I don't know what shop to me. Hmm. Now here again. Okay, for some reason they isn't mapped out completely. That's all. We've been, uh, we've gone around that thing a few times <laughs> during the fight, and we didn't actually map out to the right of here. I can. Do you tell? Are you telling me you missed areas of the map? Yeah. Why am I surprised? Okay, what have we here? Probably only really something extra. A lot of platforms. A desk. Okay, is this... The heck is this? The... There doesn't appear to be anything here. Okay. 
normally some to, some upgrade material would be hidden there. We're in an area like that. Oh! Now I know the guy on the floor, floor was touching the vine. Don't take that out of context, people, please. Especially you, William. I'm sorry, Mother. I've been seduced by the outside, and you may strike me down right here. This is wind. It's as if his breast is brushing against me. Uh, all right, that, I mean, that was the worst of mine. <laughs> By the tribe, what a sinner I am being. It, I might not even turn back this time. Ah, there you are. Oh yes, it's the girls. Remember to put your hand lifting in, your heart lifting on the legs and not the back. Good advice. I... But for whatever reason, uh, are you here for? I've not repaid you for that thing you uh, a while back. But did you still help an old friend one more time? Oh, that would depend, Mina. I'm not used to being asked. How come you're here? What is this crazy place being opened up, up now? And that strange, and stra that strange people come out. Perhaps some uh, body happens to be bleeding. I thought. Yeah, I was just curious. This place is crazy. Crazy needs a different kind of doctor. <laughs> but really, why are you hanging around? Maybe we're the crazy ones, but we want to sneak inside the one concern. That is crazy. I don't want to help if you do that, ladies. But you know of a way, then. It's about saving the life of someone. You know we can handle ourselves. It's just, it is straight up entering the mouth of the dragon, Mina. And I, personally, don't know how to do that anyway. I thought you'd like to help. Robin's brother will die if nobody does anything. You can't try to guilt people, Mina. You act like a spoiled child sometimes. Point. I'm... I'm sorry. Well, what's this? Has she grown up a bit recently? Listen, girls, I'll let you uh, talk to this guy I know. He'll either scare you away or just tell uh, you to go away. But I'll tell you to meet him. But I'll let you meet him. I'm marking his location on your map of Shockwood, right outside of here. See me at that place. Thanks, Gustavo. Is that the place that we just explored? I'm going ahead so nothing bad goes down there. Hmm. Why am I feeling it will be a uh, cat guy? Uh, we'll see. Okay, I'd be surprised. If... Let's be honest. The game is kind of one way or another to surprise us. Yep. But I'm guessing you meant that it's... I'm nope. guessing your guess is that it's the Flat Hat Samurai? Yeah. And let's be honest, one of you, it has been for the surprise test. There has been a few times that where I have been... rightfully spoke on again. Like with the worm. Yeah. I was off this quick thing, I was just seeing it, but no, nope. it was a giant maggot on the moon. And there you are. Hey, tea party. The guy's supposed to be here. Maybe he doesn't like that I brought you guys over. Likely you're sweaty armpits, Mina. <laughs> okay, we get it now. I can smell. Anyway, we don't have time to stand around and wait. We need to get into the concern. Well, it ain't happening faster because you're impatient. Yeah, Ooh. hello. Are you going to... Why are you giving me away, Gustavo? These are no threat to you, no threat to you, Ash. One of them is an EC2. I am not blind. I got you more pain relievers. How are the aches? Yeah, is, it, is he an agent? 
Why do you seek the answer to one concern? This girl's brother is being held in there. He'll be killed. Little woman, if her brother is in that place to be killed, he has most certainly wronged him. He is only right. Oh, come on. So you're concerned? You look just like an agent. You even do work tricks. Why are you out here hiding with an EC? Wouldn't that make you sinful too? Mustafa, where did you bring these ballers to me? Hopefully discourage them. We all get the desire to wrong him at trying times. We tell ourselves it's for the good of someone else, or perhaps we simply tell ourselves it's fine, just this once. Human of these greed need to be controlled by him above. I've broken the deep enough of oath, made worse by remaining out here. Perhaps no more hope remains for me anymore. Are you grey? But let us play on one of the self-serving exceptions. I've not been able to put my abilities to use for a long time. It's making my body feel like a hundred snakes are feasting on my innards. Ow. It is part of my divine punishment, as one who elopes from his bonds of duty. Defeat me here, and we may know if you could handle the one concern. This is discouraging. Nobody is perfect. No life is perfect. Label yourself the correct fate. And all is taken care of? I'm sure there's a freedom in having simple ways of thinking. You need strength and stealth to make it inside the one concern. Show me you have both. I would not cry if I happened to kill you. Fighting for sure is not good for you. <laughs> you should use tactics. Switch characters by ducking to hide and then pressing the wrench button. Okay, so we can act actively switch now. Uh, yeah, um, Hmm? I recognize that name. Yeah? I thought they talk, mentioned this guy in episode 1 or 2. Uh, Grey has been talking... Grey has been mentioning a... Uh, Black has been mentioning a Grey. But I don't remember an Ash. I think... Uh, oh god, I think it was a... Uh, Chrome that mentioned Ash. You only say short passing. And yeah, he does seem like he could be basically that boss material. Yeah. So. Oh god. Hide where it suits you and rush attack your enemy when they have lost your trail. You can still attack a character not in play. Okay. This will be great entertainment. Can you defeat that which you cannot see, little women? Okay, so we can hide in these bushes. Oop. Hiding until your enemy loses you is schoolyard knowledge. Ow. So... Did he lose? Okay, so, uh, we have a stealth battle. Ow. You present yourself to me to like a peacock. Hmm. Yeah, there he is. On the lower right and left. This is this is a diff, a very different. Did we lose? And now he's up there. He, he he's quick when he wants. To. Is he stomping around on purpose? At least attempt to both hide. Okay, so standing behind the plants doesn't count as hiding. You actually need to kneel. 
I think, I think he's partially just acting. Like he does know where we are somewhat. Ooh. Because yeah, he, when he's attacking us, he's not making any sounds as he steps, or he's not taking up anything. He But when he's quote unquote lost us, then he's stomping around like that. Don't get cocky over here. Small as a mouse, you throw it like a little. Check ass. Okay, I want to get at least one shot. Oh, come on. No simple. Who's <laughs> good hydro scent? Oh. Oh. Because she smells, she has to hide in the water. Yeah. I think she, you said she was a bit of a thief rogue character and the shotgun didn't suit them. Yeah, they... But yeah, she has a low weapon and she smells. Yeah. Would make her a horrible thief. Oh, he leaves his back open when he blocks one of us. Okay, so he's changed it up for this last one. And, uh, yeah, I'm... He... I'm guessing Mina just sweats a lot from what he said there earlier. <laughs> okay. He's up and for there. Okay, he moved. Mina can't crawl, apparently. She can duck, but she can't crawl. Uh -uh. A speeding truck would sneak <laughs> sooner sneak up on them. Uh, okay, where did he go now? Oh, he's up there. But uh, we can't get up there as Mina like this easily. We'd have to go... Yeah, we can't hide in the bush up there. And he moved again. This is a spot where we could hit him. Okay, Mina. And then we lure him out like that, and he should move downstairs again. Okay. Uh, we're good on time. There we go. That's right, don't mess with the power duo. Spill the beans, G-Man. <laughs> Healing himself from the earth again. Come on! Well done, little women. You reminded me of games I used to play with my daughter. Careless games, it turns out. She wanted to be like me. There's divinity in what we have. They say, but us guardians, the ones that make agents and leaders in war, are almost all in physical torment. Not one we can heal, the pains that are caused by the blood's mixtures. For me, it is hard to keep faith when it hit me harder than others. 
I don't feel halfway to divinity. I feel halfway to the grave. My daughter, she volunteered for the transcendence procedure. And if someone in your bloodline has ascended before, the family genes are more than f are more fortunate. It is still up to him if you even live through the procedure, however. <clears throat> I tried to interfere with my daughter's procedure, but the scientists aren't going to let the offspring of a previous success go. My level of interference has forced me here, in immoral hiding. Did she... She died, didn't she? We're all outcasts here. An illness keeps me from being able to procreate without passing the disease along. The easy fate will shun me for it. Gods are unkind, but I have to be. I don't, but I don't have to be. Hmm. I can give you one hope of entering the one concern. The west entrance has a camera outside. The door is set to always open when something is near it, but the camera has the ability to override that by referencing a database. If it finds no match to the person approaching, it will automatically lock the door. But the camera was faulty last time I uh, was near the concern. Nobody has resources anymore, so I will assume it's still faulty. If it doesn't recognize something as a person approaching, it will not activate the lock. Disguise yourself as something inhuman, or simply strangely shaped, and you may bypass its system. So... Yeah. <laughs> My coat? That's silly, Robin. It's, and that's just a stylish, you know, stylish coat I bought. It's a coat for people, so surely it, it, I'll still look like a person. You'll look more like a snowman. A snowman. Not even a snowman. With your stature in such an oversized thing, it may be hopeful to you. I'll take it as a compliment. Okay, let's go try that. Thanks, Ash. I wish you wouldn't go, but if you do, I'll always wear clothing fitting for the weather. You hear? Let's go back to the mountains, to that one concerning entrance you mentioned to me. Hmm. Gustavo and Ash, two people who, uh, who found trouble within their faith, uh, chose not to let it uh, turn them to hate or anger. Hmm. There's still an opening on the far left of this map. Well, Isin never really seemed to be ready. Oh. So I hope I expect the first to see more of the other religions, or... I was kind of about to be more of them. Yeah. Also, something I found out earlier was you were Ray. Oh? It doesn't care about the wrench, it's the gun that it cares about. And when I, I we went down one too early. I put the other new that, that they hit the gun down. Yeah, but not the wrench, that it doesn't... Doesn't care for the wrench, that's the point. Uh, and I missed that. Because I had to turn that bolt as well. Wait, wait, hold on. Are you telling me you didn't realize that until now? Now I knew that it hated the gun sound, but did it did, I didn't know that it didn't care for the uh, <coughs> wrench. I feel like we already had this discussion one or two streams ago. Yeah. That we that it's hate that it's it goes hostile at the sound of the gunfire, but the wrench yeah. doesn't activate it. That is the part that we didn't talk about, I think. Hmm. Maybe we did, but I don't remember. Or was probably just indirect understood, at least from my end. That all right, they hate the gun sound, so. Probably won't react to all the things then. Yeah, could be that, yeah. Also, where did I leave them? Hmm. Did I just knock something over? Oh, no, that's just a plate that's shielding my eyes from the light of the computer. 
Uh, where did I put them? I already took care of this, but I got my hands on a pair of uh, good working wireless earbuds. And tomorrow I'll be testing how those do with streaming, so I'll, I won't annoy people by moving my headphone around all the time anymore. I just seem to have misplaced them somewhere at the moment. I know I put them somewhere around here. Then again, it's never smart to put something black on a black desk. Uh, yeah, I may have to agree with that. At some point in downtime, I lost my... What's it called? Scrooge? Hair Scrooge? Yeah, it goes to Robert Mandy up for hair. Okay. I placed it on, on uh, the, this disc one time, and... Yeah, I had problems finding it. Okay. I didn't realize what it was from the frontier from of my uh, roof lamp. I just have to get up the mountainside again. And uh, Miss Evil Cook again will just pass her by and uh, act like she doesn't exist. I, I just realized something. Look at the trees. Mm, yeah, pine trees and dead trees. Look at the, what direction the eyes on them are. Eye? Yeah, it's in the I... same direction. The snow is on it on the same direction that the wind is blowing. Yeah! That's not normally what I do. So it's more, yeah, it's more snow than ice. Yeah, but still. That would me to say quite out the wind. Also, something. I realized a bit ago, but haven't actually said yet. Uh, we have these statues of Mother here, and down in the abandoned facility, we have statues of Father. And they said that people who survived the ivory infusion process, that they live for centuries. So all of this was literally done centuries ago, because, yeah, there's, a, there's the statue of a father. And they are looking to replace, or they are bringing, <clears throat> they are preparing a replacement for Mother. So that must mean that she is nearing the end of her life. So yeah, whatever happened in there, it li it happened literally oh, centuries ago. Where probably, I'm going to go on a quick guess and say that they live for the, probably two, three, maybe four centuries. So. Yeah, whatever happened in there probably happened like half a millennium ago. <laughs> what a crappy place. I can see the camera from here. Are you serious? You think this code looks creepy? <laughs> I'm so scared. What would be the technical term for a code phobia? <laughs> <laughs> Either way, I think the only way to do this is that you get close behind me and we walk slowly towards the door. Then we hope. I mean, I actually hate stealth, and Ash made it sound like we need more in there. Running and gunning seem perfectly fine before him. Whatever, let's go. It's just the unthiefly thief there is. This is stupid. <laughs> what stupid works? Because it looks like a toddler. There really is nobody nearby, just the machines. I'm just expecting fighting right away or something. Don't know why we can't go back out though. Well, hey, who cares? We're here for your brother, right? At least now it may uh, not be stupidly impossible. <laughs> Why is it, Robin? <laughs> By gosh, we're lucky. So mysterious. Yeah, it doesn't concern us. 
She she literally froze mid step for that. But yeah, what the hell is going on in here? Is it just abandoned? Is that why Ro didn't come out? That he's just stuck trying to find someone, anyone in here? And wait, if, if the door locked behind us, that also yeah, the, uh, if the door locked behind us, it likely locked behind him as well. So that's why he didn't come out. He literally got his ass stuck in here. Oh. Weak bench. Uh, smog. Next passive one right up here, so wait. Let's see then. Iron Heart, Fleet Foot, Shock Valley, Breathless. It says that it added its, its, its schematic, but there's nothing new here. I think the schematic is the map. I think that we're filling in the map already on its own. Okay, now... Hmm. Oh, don't forget. Can you read something there? First factory floor. Oh, oh. Okay. Uh, hello. If this place is a factory and there aren't enough resources to manufacture anymore, that, that would explain why it's abandoned here. What the... Literally, they're just robotic charging trucks with boxing gloves. It's going to go back down, I think, or not. Okay, new type of... Oh, hello there. What the... Mm. Hello. Hello. A cowboy with a shield. <laughs> hmm. Okay, I see what we need to do. You do? Yeah, we need to pull that chain so that the platform there comes up. Uh, do we have enough time? Yes, we have. Okay. Then I'm guessing... There we go. Uh, this opens that up permanently. Okay. Oh, lovely. Molten iron. Okay, we can't progress there. Oh, and we can't get through that without having to charge. Hmm. So, this is already a dead end. Okay, then we can look downstairs. Hello. That's the research lab. Hmm. Wait, you're taking me the thing. Is that it's a research lab? It, yeah, all right. Okay, it got a charge from us. But... Hmm. How do we get rid of you? It means that there is something that we can do here after all. You respond. That does nothing. Bye, Punch and Judy. 
Okay, what? Oh, I already see the trick. There. <laughs> because that changes up both of these. Yeah, that was just a case of me being dumb again. And these chemicals yet again. Ow. Oh, and... Okay. <laughs> Here the elevator actually goes down with you. What does it want you to do? Ow. I think it wants us to pull that chain down all the way to the bottom for something. Right, we can actually blow those things up. Okay. Yep, or not. Wait. We've got a rocket bullet. Yeah, just normal fire solves it. Hmm. Yeah, we just thought it would it might be easier to aim at that one specifically. I get the feeling we probably won't get much of a reward out of this, but let's at least try. At least I thought I'd killed it already. Okay, but now at least we can not grab the ledge, okay. Now of course you missed the heart. Oh, we need to charge the block and then guide it down. And I, I hope those things don't... Oh, uh, what are you doing here? My dear, why are you here? I, I was asking you that. <laughs> I know of you. It's quite something that you are here right at this time. Elvor is back here too, to be executed. No doubt you are also here because of that. Everyone's gone to the assembly hall. I don't know why something urgent must have happened. Okay, so it, it isn't abandoned. They're waiting to be addressed by one of the suits from the Bastion, and I think General Chrome. That's probably Black. Elro is a friend. You couldn't have picked a better time to try and find him. Did he ever tell you why he's wanted? He talks about how frail you are. That's not the story I heard from my co-workers that spotted you along the way, though. Among many things, Elro was upset about your father, Holro. I... I feel he needs a lot of help, to be honest. As Chemico Contra have been had to scramble to get him out of here after what happened. We almost gave ourselves away, but we always help members. Oh, so he... The name's Tegan. So he's with the Chemico Contra, or... Uh, probably best if we just called him the CC. I've been your brother's partner on the last few concern projects. You will need the usurper gun attachment to continue towards Elro. It's somewhere behind this door. You can't get it the normal way, but you're probably crafty enough to get in, all things considered. Good luck, Robin. I have to get to the assembly hall. A CC cannot be found out. It is vital. Okay. Huh? It's this? This is a flashback I'm getting. Hey, Elro, I have an idea. The shockwood generates electricity somehow, but it's far weaker than using drops of ivory. Maybe we fashion some sort of hybrid for the time being. The ivory could charge something simpler, making the supply last longer. If people suddenly get power from somewhere else, the concern will notice a small demand, a smaller demand for ivory. It's useless. Well, I'm trying. And you weren't the only one to have that idea. What are you doing? Something useful. Okay, smartass. What? You heard about the propulsion lab experiment, right? 
He tried to make more efficient rocket fuel and it just exploded or something to that effect. Not really. He managed to get a hold of some records of the event. It's an activator that almost instantly ejects all ivory from matter. Immediately de you know, detritus dust. Okay. Yeah, that can be a play used as a weapon. It doesn't really result in trust. It's kind of terrifying. Certainly even more terrifying for those with ivory blood. What is that supposed to mean? I think I've managed to recreate some of it somewhere. Some of it here. What? Why would you do that? Put it away! Don't worry. Even if they found these vials, it's a binary liquid. They've made no notes of that anywhere. It needs two more liquids to work. They've only made armed mixtures in two syringes for testing. <coughs> to head forward, get rid of those. Listen, we can't go on like this. We can't make new ways to power things and pretend the concern won't know. We should get rid of the concern from the inside. Hello, the community CC is not a group of terrorists. Come on, listen to yourself. This is not why you're doing it. Our goal is to give our discoveries to those that can hide hate it. And to our easy collaborators. Are you going to ruin that not now? Okay, so they've been forwarding discoveries to them as well. I, I have to do something. No, you don't. This is bigger than you. Have you considered taking, this, you know, the, taking the time to mourn yet? Your father is clouding your judgment. Oh, shut the hell up. My father was a coward for what he did. That's not what you think. If you see any hint of you, you still, if I see any hint of you still fiddling with this crap, I will inform the others. What's going on over there, friends? And who are you? With, oh, you must be Gray. Something wrong. Good evening, Agent Gray. We're just trying to decide who gets first picks on the new workstations. I see what happened now. <laughs> I'm glad they're ha happening, but that's no reason to fight. They're all the same. I can't wait to see what awesome stuff you guys think of when using them. Chemistry is like magic, but only for, but for any people to play with. Tell me when you finally make that love potion. Some people I know are just impossible. <laughs> all right. You are the most unfunny 12-year-old on this planet. Uh, who? Oh. Yeah, she's calling Grey immature. If that's true, I have an excuse to be a little childish. That man over there is named Elro. Why should I care, Grey? He's the genius chemist that will one day concoct a brew that could make even the bear fangs in a smile. Can't you be happy with the wins? <laughs> Agents, there you are. Okay, I'm ready to bear my fangs. <laughs> Wait, what did I do? Come on now, Airball. Tolo only serves the general. Were we not discussing empathy? As I think you were saying things that I should point, you know, paint on cheap canvas and sell at a discount store. I could listen to your sarcasm all day. General Chrome is ready to head out to the new desert location. All we need is the ivory supply. Yep, I leave you guys in charge of that whole thing. Hey you, sign them off on the ivory, okay? All right. What were they doing in the desert again? I don't uh, think they ever actually said what. I think it was Ivory. Hmm. Well, Royal was there to experiment with the flowers or creating flowers. But what they as a whole did, I don't actually know. Hmm. Yeah, well, Ro. Ray, we all finally have time off. Please, and let's just you know, go. Oh, come on. Let me just let me just give my buddy some condolences. Listen, I heard what happened to your father. It's always hard to know when these things could happen. My thoughts and prayers are with you and your family. I hope you and your sister land on your feet. But hey, you're gonna teach me some chemistry soon, right? Let's talk about everything then. It'll do you good. Land on your feet. Thoughts and prayers. Yes. What is it? Fake. You're fake. Excuse me? 
Don't pretend to care using your cliches. You know how people are treated. You do nothing with your power except stand above others. Where do you get to have that power? Okay, Elro. I'm going to convince some people to let you have some days off, yes? Don't patronize me. This isn't the Elro I know. Elro, what was that? What did you just hit me with? Tell me. Now. What did you do? <laughs> Mischievous. What the hell's gotten into you? Sorry, I'm <laughs> sorry. You forced my hand here. I'll have to throw you into cells when you're like this. See, he's actually not bad. I'm sorry, it was nothing. Just, I'll just calm down now. It's a blade, blade for that now. What? Trey, what's wrong? You better get the fuck out of there. Uh, okay. Now we can understand why she ripped off his arm. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, Gray did not deserve that. It, she looked sincere at the very least. Right, I think... Is Grey a he or she? For... It was a bit hard to see there. Uh, I don't think they mentioned uh, gendered, but she looked somewhat like a... Gr I, to me, Grey looked somewhat like a grandma. Yeah, Grey looked like a giant with a mohawk. <laughs> hmm. I guess the, the base model is uh, neutral enough. But uh, yeah, getting painted with probably your mentor, not, not something you're going to go easy on someone with. And they fucking respond. And of course they have this freaking... They have spikes. Yeah, I can fully understand why she's pissed as all hell with him. And on top of that, we killed uh, White as well. Um, yeah, miss. Okay, this is going to be a bit tricky. Actually, yeah, that dealt with that. Okay, we're going to have to charge up and chuck one of the bombs into this, uh, <clears throat> into this gap. That charges that. And we charge. And, yep. And I screwed up by jumping off. We need to pull that thing the whole way. And now it's over there. Are those things back? We'll see when we go again. And uh, not bad. It's now point two zero zero. Okay, I will. Okay, that's done. But what did it actually do? That's a good question. Either way, low, go. Uh, yeah, let's call it here. Uh, literally, where did I put those freaking ear things? I know they should be around here somewhere. I know they I left them on my desk. Can I knock them off or something? You did put them in the uh, case thing, right? Yeah, of course. So if I find the casing, I find them. Yeah, again. Black on black. 
and the black carpet. And when when I when I read when you know, the next time my floor needs to be redone, I'm getting white metal carpets. <laughs> uh, no, you're not. There's yes, no carpet. Stains easily, yeah, but. I don't think I've actually spilled anything on this floor. Well, it stays easier, but it also, depending material, will uh, turn yellow over time. Found them. They were, ah, you. they were underneath the microphone. <laughs> okay. Either way, though. Tomorrow, something Sunday, where we will be trying out uh, two, three, maybe four games, as well as how well these do with recording. I have checked, OBS can record a uh, sound that is sent to them. <clears throat> I've, al I've already actually added it in OBS here, but of course, since they're not on, they're not being recorded. But yeah, two to three games. First of which will be Jade Empire, because last week I messed up and said we'd be playing that instead of... Uh, I forget what the last game was that we tried. But yeah, Jade Empire, that will probably be 45 minutes to an hour, and then two, maybe three games more. Nice. And then on Monday, we'll be continuing on with Iconoclasts, because, yeah, to make up for the fact that I didn't stream on Thursday. And yes, I honestly forgot that uh, Thursday was to be my birthday, or that my uh, birthday would fall on Thursday. Uh, <clears throat> so, but, but still, I promised a stream, so I will give at least one an, a stream to make up for it. Yay! But as always, thank you anyone who has been watching, uh, be it now, later on on YouTube. And as always, special thanks to you, Luke here. Oh, you're most welcome, lad. And yeah, I've already told the schedule. So, as always, until then, until then. Be safe, folks! <laughs>